Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can customize the page layout in Confluence. So we have already created the page in Confluence and understood a bit about the macros that are available within Confluence. Now let us understand how you can customize the layout of the page. Now if you see this particular page on my screen, this has just you know one column at the moment. Now when you are creating the page, it might not be necessary that you just want to have one column within the page. You might have different sections in the page. In one section, you might want to add an image. In the next section, you want to add a table or you want to have a three column, three sections, three column. Then uh, uh, again, you want to have two columns. So how you can achieve that, let's understand that within Confluence. So customizing the page or adding different sections within the page is really easy you know step in confluence so for example in this particular case i want to have two sections here or two columns here so if you see this icon here at the top in the editor this is the layout that you can choose to define different layouts of the page so if i click on the layout it will add a simple two column layout of the page I can use this two layout, two column layout on the page. And in the first column, I can have any text. In the second column, I can have the image. Or in the first column, I can ha have any other macro. Uh, or in the second column, I can have table. So it, depending on how I want to visualize, how I want to design my page, I can have these different layouts. If I want three columns, I can simply choose three column layout from this particular layout section here. If I want first column to be, you know, bigger, so right sidebar or the left sidebar or center two columns, uh, I can have these layouts accordingly just by changing the layout from here. If you see in the right hand side, you have this go wide, so I can go wide or I can go full width in terms of this particular layout. Now let me add something in this particular page here. So in the layout, so for example, I want to add this particular text in the center and in the left hand side, I want to add some links, right? So I can add some macro. So I can simply start typing forward slash and I can say, uh, say for example, I want to add table of content. So I can start typing in table and I can see that I have the table macro or table of contents, right? So I can simply select table of content, double click and then click on edit to add the table of content, right? So here the output type is list. I can select the flat or list. So let me keep it as list here and then I have the minimum heading level and the max heading level is seven. So I can have the headings up to seven. That's the max. And then there are other options. So include headings or exclude headings, then printable, etc. So if I choose not to have it printable, then table of content won't be visible when you are printing, right? So uh, in this particular case, when I'm trying to print this particular page, then table of contents will be visible if this particular box is checked. Okay. So if you want to preview how the table of content will look, simply refresh this preview icon here and the table of content will be visible. Okay. So at the moment, I haven't added any, uh, you know, table of content as such. So let me just save it here. And so that table of content is added here the text is here and on the right hand side let me add an image so to add an image i'll use the macro again so forward slash and then i'll start typing in image and i'll click on files and images so i can just say enter and i can use the recently uploaded upload image so i use this particular image which is the logo and you can see that I have table of contents in the left hand side, the content in the center and in the right hand side, I have the image. Now, this is one of the layout. Now, say, for example, in the next, after this particular layout, I want to have two columns instead of three columns. So I can again choose the layout. Okay. 
and I have now two columns and I can expand it, go wide or go full width. Okay. And now here in the first column, I want to have some text. So let me copy the same text again. And in the next one, I want to have some status macro. So for example, I want to add some status there so I can specify the status and I can say pass in the status and hit enter. All right. So you can see that color green and the status macro has been added there. Once I am done with the design of the page and the content of the page, I can click on publish. So click on publish here. And once this particular page has been published, I will be able to see the layout that I have defined for this particular page, right? So table of contents is not visible at the moment because there wasn't any, you know, content table of content that I have defined, but you can see the center part of the page has the content in the right hand side. I have this image here in the left hand side in the uh, in the next line i have two columns so the first column has content and the second column i have this you know uh, status so this is not very well designed as of now but this is how you will be using the layout to design your pages very well okay so once you have all the relevant content in the page and you want to design your pages you can play around and um, edit the page and specify which particular layout is best suited and use that layout for your page okay now let me work on this table table of content so if i click on edit on the table of content as soon as i'll have some headings on my page this table of content will be automatically populated okay so let me cancel this and let me add some of the headings on the page so that I can see table of contents as well, right? Because table of contents is very important and you will be using it a lot. So say for example, here I will add a heading one. Okay, so I'll say heading one and let me change this to heading one in this particular case. Then here I'll change another heading or I'll add another heading and change that to heading two, right? And here, let me change it to heading two. And then let me add a couple of more headings here. So here I'll add, say, for example, this is not well aligned basically. So let me add a subheading here so, so that you can see the heading as well. So heading three below heading two and then I'll add another heading, heading two below heading one. Right. So now as soon as I'll go to table of contents again here and click on edit. And if I click on preview, it should get the list of, okay. I think I haven't saved. Let me save it, publish this page. So now you can see the table of contents has automatically picked up heading one, right? And then there were two headings. So heading two that are below the heading one. So heading one is the top level root level. Below that I have two headings, heading two, and then heading three is number three, which is below heading two, right? So it has automatically created that table of content for me, which is available in the left hand section of these three columns that I have defined here. Within these columns, I can do all sort of formatting that is available on the page. So on this particular column, say for example, I want to choose this particular text. Okay, let me choose the text here and say I want to align it in the center. I can choose that or I can left align or right align accordingly. Okay, so I can left align similarly. Uh, if I want to, you know, do any of the uh, changes to the table of content or do a different alignment for this particular image, I can choose that as well. So at the moment it is aligned at center. I can left align or 
I can, you know, center align or right align accordingly for this particular image and publish it. Okay. So this is a brief introduction about how you will be working with the pages and how you'll be uh, creating different sections in the pages within Confluence and then how you'll be utilizing macros within those sections in Confluence to make your pages look much better within Confluence. That's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.